Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I'm like super excited today because we're cooking something that one, you cannot get out here for some reason, and two, I've never cooked, and three, I've never even had. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. For Father's Day, Babe bought me Snake River Farms. She ordered it online. She paid for it, not sponsored or anything. Snake River Farms, gigantic beef dino ribs. I think they're short ribs, but they're like, the bones are big, seven pounds. Yeah. Wagyu. Huge. A mega money, mega ribs, mega, these Fun. better be freaking amazing. Don't mess them up. Don't mess them up. Don't, Don't mess, mess them it up, up on this cook. I'm super excited. A lot of my fellow YouTubers and friends and YouTube family know that that is like the one thing that I've always wanted was dino ribs. And I've never had them. I've never cooked them. But I've always seen like a ton of videos on them. And I'm like, dude, I really want some of those. So, right. yeah, babe. Yeah. I am pumped. Yeah. Okay, babe. It's time for mega beef dino ribs outside on the world's smallest patio <laughs> on the Oklahoma Joe offset smoker, which babe also bought me. We're going to be using gel yeah. stubble lump charcoal, no wood, lump charcoal, offset smoker, water trough, dino ribs, wagyu. It's going to be amazing. Uncle Steve's shake. The competition pig, my favorite. My and favorite too. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an epic cook. So stay tuned. It's gonna be good, right, babe? Yeah, babe. Right. Okay. Better be. Here we go. Don't and mess it up. Don't don't D mess really, it. Really, don't mess these up. Don't mess these up. And here we go. go. Look at the marbling, wagyu ribs, and the backside. We're gonna leave the membrane on. The front side has a little bit of fat. I might do minimal trimming, but these are really, really beautiful right out of the package and they should be for the price. Right, babe? Yeah, Happy babe. Father's Day to me. <laughs> okay, let's just do a little trimming and I'll be right back. So for our binder on today's cook, we're gonna be using the Worcestershire, the W sauce. And my hand bottle, babe, is gonna give me a couple jabs. Like perfect, that. perfect, babe. We'll just rub it down. Now I'm not gonna season the bone side, I'm just gonna season the left and the right and the top here. And I scored the fat a little bit. I left a lot of it on because it's gonna render down because this is gonna be a very low and slow cook and I'm very excited about it. Next, babe, we're using one of our favorite barbecue rubs, Uncle Steve's Shake Competition Pig Blend. And I know what you're saying, Josh, why would you use pig on beef ribs? I'm telling you, and babe agrees, Right, babe? It's the best. It's the best. It's so good. Okay, babe. And obviously this is six point something pounds, so you can go pretty heavy on the rub. There you go. And I'll just pat this in, and that's gonna develop that nice bark on it. How's that? Good. Now give me some right here, babe. A little bit on the sides. We'll work that in. And that's only three ribs. This is three bones, <laughs> three right? Three bones. Three bones. Three bones and a lot of goodness, babe. That's some big dino ribs. So the W sauce and Uncle Steve's shake, and we'll be good to go. Okay, out here on the world's smallest patio, the way that we're setting up our Oklahoma Joe Highland Offset Smoker today, we're only going to be running lump charcoal. No wood, just lump charcoal. I got some in the firebox there. And then I'm doing a full chimney of lump charcoal just to get started. And then we'll get that fire going, then we'll damper it down, and we're going to run our pit today at about 250, 275 all day. And this is going to be a long cook. So look at how we have our grill set up today. We have a water pan here to promote moisture during the entire cook. I'm also gonna be doing some spritzing. Now normally, you could wrap them, but I'm not gonna wrap these. I'm just gonna let them go, because they are Wagyu, they are big, and they have that fat in there that's gonna marble it down, and it's gonna be outstanding. So we got the little shadows from everything, water trough, ribs on. I'm estimating, what babe, seven hours, eight hours probably? Mm -hmm. The pit's running at like 250, between 250 and 300. Now that I have the thing open, it'll get a little hot again. We'll damper it down. Very easy to use this grill. And so, yeah, I'm very excited. Father's Day, first time mega dino ribs. Okay, about one hour in. I haven't opened it up. I haven't done anything. It's all buttoned down. And we're still running closest to the firebox, about 275. Right here over the ribs, closer to 250. Clean smoke, a lot of heat coming out, but clean smoke and we're rolling away. 
I probably will start spritzing at the three plus hour mark, but I don't want to open it up. I just want to let it do its thing. Two hours in, the temperature is still right about 250. It dropped a little bit, so I'm adding a little bit more charcoal in since I didn't put enough in when we started the cook two hours ago. And this is the charcoal that we're using today. Gel Stevel Lump Charcoal. We love them. It's working fantastic. We'll let that charcoal catch for a minute. Four hours in now, and we're still running. 250, 250. I got a little spray bottle. I just filled it with water. I was gonna do beef broth, but there we go. Let's take a look. Four hours in, we got some nice pullback. Wow, it smells so good. So I'm just gonna do a little water spritz and we're gonna keep going. We got the water pan over here. It's about 50% of the way gone. It's promoting some moisture cooking. There we go. I'm gonna probably turn it a little bit and then we'll let it keep rolling. We're at five and a half hours in. You can see our water trough. And I just tempt these because obviously my main goal is I want them to be probe tender, but they're at currently at about 165 degrees at five and a half hours in. You can see the pullback and stuff like that, but I want to get them to probably 200 to 205 and I want them to be probe tender. So this is the current setup right now, five and a half hours in, and we're just going to keep rolling. So at six and a half hours, we're still at 168 right there. Let's see here. 163 and it's getting very tender but it's not a hundred percent probe tender yet so we're gonna let them roll a little bit longer i mean you could just see the juices just pouring off of it our water trough still has water in it and everything's moving along six and a half hours in let's keep rolling we're at exactly eight hours in right now you guys can look at that pullback wow the current internal temperature is between 185 and 190 degrees so we're gonna let these go a little bit longer. We're gonna pull them off. We're gonna let them rest before we slice them. But you guys can see, I mean, wow, wow. Very nice looking. It's been nine and a half hours. It's literally 9, 18 p.m. What do you think, babe? I think they're gonna be really yummy. I've grabbed a few pieces off and they're already like butter. So I think once they set for a few, I feel like it's melt in your mouth. I mean, it, it's going to be melt in your mouth. They are going to be fantastic. You can already pull the rib out. They're going to be so good. You did a great job, babe. We're going to loosely tint this. So, okay, 45 minutes. And then we can have dinner at maybe 10, 11 p.m. <laughs> So we stopped it at 10 p.m., a uh, 10-hour cook, 45 minutes of resting. Here we are. Are you ready, babe? What about that knife, babe? I mean, oh, this Dal Strong knife is <laughs> intense. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be... Epic. I mean, I feel it's going to be quite amazing. I mean, what do you call this, babe? Brisket on a stick? I believe that. I mean, look at that. So I just tried to hold up one rib and it fell off the bone. So you can see it's very, very tender. It has pulled back from the bone. I mean, talk about it. It's, oh, and it's so juicy. Babe. Wow. So the other one fell off the bone. Mm. This one has pulled back a lot and I was able to just, but if you watch, it's literally. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh, there it goes. Fall off the bone. Babe, show the bone. <laughs> Dino ribs. <laughs> Babe, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. They just, I mean, my goodness. It's going to be phenomenal. Yeah. That's okay, clean bone. Are you ready to try this? Wow. I think we're ready. It's so good. Hot, hot. Let me just cut a little bite. Oh my goodness. I don't even know. Like how that's to, like, brisket on a stick. I think so. I don't even know how to cut it, really, to be honest. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, it's hot. Yeah. I mean, that's 
10 hours cooking, an hour resting, basically. Those are $140 ribs. What do you think? They should be. That is so tender. Oh my gosh. That's phenomenal. Anyone who goes and buys that in a restaurant should be paying a premium. Because that is phenomenal. Wow. I don't know what else to say. They're delicious. Holy moly. You gotta talk about the top, you gotta talk about the top tier channel members, babe. babe. That is butter in my mouth. Oh, so you like it. So even though this was probably my well, That was my father's day present, can we order it again? Um <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> One of the best steaks I've ever had. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna have to cut another piece. It is seriously so good. Okay. We couldn't buy this without our top tier channel members. Thank you guys so, so much. These are the ones making our cooks affordable, available, and doable. So we appreciate all of you. I feel like we need to adapt that. Affordable, available, and doable. Yeah. I feel like I need to put a bumper sticker on the Prius on that. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so, so much. Babe, are you ready? It's 10 p.m. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to me. Eat that meat. Mm, do you swallow it like butter or do you even chew? That's very good. It's so good, right? Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. See? Babe, look at how floppy this steak is. It's like, wow. It's perfect. Floppy steak, Father's Day.